Patrick Garchbald here with a demonstration of Myth TV Android front end. Okay, when you first come in, you choose between your home or your away profile. I'm at home. Then you can look at your recordings, your guide, your upcoming recordings, or your recording rules. Let's look at recordings. And let's say we want to watch an episode of uh, John Stewart. Let's watch the Rachel Maddow episode. Press the eyeball. And you can play straight off your Myth TV back end, or you can stream it over HTTP. If you do this, uh, it will kick off a transcode job on your Myth TV back end, and then it will play in just a few seconds. Let's go ahead and play straight off the back end. I'm using vPlayer. A goat at a petting zoo got stuck in a lake. Over 7 million people were inspired by the leading web video. But today. only one man knows what really happened. Okay, let's watch this R.J. Cutler episode. Zamboni and smooth it all out. They've made another love connection here on Ice Dating. Okay, you get the idea. Let's back out and we'll look at our guide. Here's what's on all my channels now. We can look in the future, see what else is playing later tonight, or we can look at tomorrow and the next day. And we can look at upcoming recordings. Later tonight, Saturday Night Live will be recorded. Here's tomorrow's recordings. And the next day. And the next day. And here's your recording rules. And they can be turned on or off here. Also inside the Myth TV Android front end is the infamous Myth Mote application. It's built right in, so that makes it very handy. You control your Myth TV front end from here. So that's it. PLA out.